OK, let's take a look at resizing a picture or image with Ubuntu. Now there's quite a handy little utility, but it's not installed by default. So if we head down to the Ubuntu Software Center, and then we search for Nautilus Image Converter, we'll find this. And the little green tick here indicates I've actually already got it installed. But if you didn't have it installed, you'd click here, which would say Install instead of Remove, and it would download and install it for you. If you do have to install it, you will need to either log out and log back in again, or shut down and restart. This allows Nautilus to pick up the fact that you've got a new extension installed. I've already got it installed, so it saves me breaking the screencast and putting it back together again. So let's go and have a look for a picture to resize to see how it works. Now here's Nautilus. I've got some demo pictures here. And here we have a picture of a baby lamb that's just been born with its mum. And if I bring this up full size, you can see it's quite a large picture, not necessarily something you'd want to send somebody via email. So, let's get that out of the way. To use this, you simply right-click on the image here, and down you'll see Resize Images. You can actually do it on more than one together, but we've just got the one here. And here comes a dialog box, and you can choose from standard sizes, a couple of thumbnail sizes here, or standard better background desktop sizes. You can choose a percentage or you can choose custom size where you define the width and height yourself. I'm going to choose a very old desktop background size so you can see it's been resized quite clearly. This bottom bit is the file name and what it's going to do is create a new file with the word resize depended onto the file name of the original file. This keeps the original file nice and safe so you can go back to it again. If you use resize in place here, it overwrites the existing file and you've lost all the original information from the larger version. Uh, once you've chosen your options, click on resize. And there we go, resized version of the image. Should I take a quick look at it for you. And normal. And there we can see much smaller version, much more convenient for emailing. And uh, once it's installed, it's always sitting there, ready to resize in the future.